Hello, my name is Saeed Ibrahimi. Today I'm going to introduce our work Equality Ever Sample to Sample Comparison for Face Recognition. Recent attempts on face recognition are mainly focused on manipulating the training criteria. Approaches for training a deep face recognition model can be divided into sample to sample and sample to center loss functions. Sample to sample comparison highly depends on the pair selection strategy and requires a sophisticated mining method. In large scale datasets with thousands of identity and millions of samples, there is a combinatorial explosion in the number of possible pairs, leading to costly pair selection, unstable training, and a slow convergence. Therefore, a state of the art face recognition training paradigm are based on the sample to center comparison. One major problem with using these type of loss functions is the disparity between training and testing metrics. This work integrates a quality aware learning process at the sample level into the Angular softmax training paradigm. To this end, we adjust the updating procedure of the softmax centroids to improve the performance on the underrepresented low quality samples. Three types of samples are presented in face recognition datasets. First, samples that are easy to learn by the model. Second, low quality but recognizable samples. Third, unrecognizable instances. Prior works have integrated sample to sample comparison to the angular softmax via injecting instance representation to the softmax centers. However, the sampling strategy, which is indispensable part of every sample-wise face recognition paradigm, need to be considered in them. Studies have shown that the norm of features represent the sample quality. QA phase take advantage of this property to integrate the sample mine into the injection process. The goal is to explore underrepresented recognizable low quality samples. To this end, instead of using a fixed hyperparameter during the injection, we use an adaptive function f to weight the sample's representation during the injection. Before calculating each sample's injection weight, we normalize the representation norm using batch statistics. In this way, samples with magnitude lower than a, a threshold would not affect the centers. Recognizable but low quality samples will be emphasized during training, and high quality samples will receive less attention in comparison to recognizable low quality samples. We use MTCNN to detect five landmarks in each image. Then images are aligned and rescaled to 112 by 112. We adopt Res 100 for the backbone. This table shows the performance of our model in comparison with other state-of-the-art methods. We fill out the loss value for a fixed imposter cosines while the genuine cosine changes from minus 1 to 1. The observation here is the monotonicity of the gradient among the hard samples. In other words, some samples are unrecognizable and have negative genuine cosine. However, their gradient is equivalent or more than those of informative but hard samples with positive genuine cosine. QA phase tries to compensate for this effect by ignoring the unrecognizable samples during the injection.